What is the difference between totalitarianism and authoritarianism? Both ideologies seem to have a dictatorship-like system of governance, no tolerance of dissenting opinions, and an executive which holds absolute power. What is the difference between these two ideologies? Is one a subset or precondition of the other, that is to say, is it possible for a government to be totalitarian without being authoritarian, or vice versa? From a very abstract point of view, the difference is that totalitarianism desires to completely totally influence the thoughts and actions of its citizens, even into the private sphere, while authoritarianism is primarily concerned with keeping public life in order and will allow for private affairs to remain private decisions. Examples albeit exaggerated, might show this better. A totalitarian system such as state socialism, communism, whatever you want to call it as it was practiced in Eastern Europe intended to totally transform the citizens into communist supporters. The entire system relied on everybody following suit everywhere. Children selling leaves for pebbles would already be suspect to dangerous to this system where monetary gains and capitalism were to be eliminated. Thus, emphasis was based on the proper education and if necessary re-education to make sure the ideological background remained intact. The key thing that keeps the ruling dictators in power is the belief that this is the best system. Authoritarianism needs none of this control. In authoritarianism, the key thing that keeps the powerful in power is, well, power. Essentially, the powerful don't care what you do as long as that specific thing you're doing isn't eroding their power. There is often, but not necessarily, no ideology behind the rulers, they were just there when opportunity arose. Thus, they don't have an ideology that everybody needs to follow. People are often somewhat free to follow their own affairs and beliefs as long as the system as a whole is not questioned too strongly and no revolutionary cells are created. On the other hand, there is often a lot of emphasis on police, secret services and law enforcement to make sure that any rebellion is squashed before it occurs. Of course, in real systems the distinction is not always clear-cut, systems can move from either side of the foggy divide to the other and back. In fact, if you analyze the history of various states of the communist bloc you are most likely to find periods in which a state is more likely to be described as authoritarian and others where it is more likely to be described as totalitarian, these two might even apply to different states at the same time. This answer purposely only takes past regimes as examples. Concerning the present, draw whichever parallels you want. 